With the top of his hat, John Stewart exited his New York studio for the final time as the host of The Daily Show on the 6th of August. Fans leaving the studio called the taping and Stewart momentous. Uh, I mean, John Stewart is a member of television history. He's he's as iconic as Walter Cronkite. He's iconic, you know, a as, as a funny Walter Cronkite, you know. Uh, Bruce Springsteen came on and did a sign off for John. Um, all the correspondents came back, whoever had been on the show before, came and said goodbye. Colbert had like a really awesome goodbye to John, and it was just, it was very sweet and funny and the perfect way to send John off. Longtime fan Vicky Sandin said Stewart ended the show as a family man and not a comedian. At the end, his wife and his uh, two little children came on and they danced to Bruce Springsteen and you can tell that he was really happy think, to be with them. Think... South African comedian Trevor Noah is set to take over the late show desk when the show returns. Fans of the show are mixed on his pending arrival. Absolutely, we are, absolutely. Yeah. He's going to yeah. rock the house. Yeah. <laughs> rock the house. Um, you know, cautiously speaking, I'm not, I'm, I, I'll give him a shot, but, you know, I think he's got some really big shoes to fill. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like it. No. I like more John. After 16 years as the host, fellow comedians consider Stuart as somewhat of an icon. So sad, because you know he's one of the icons. And also, by the way, from what I heard, I, I met him only twice. I heard he's like one of the nicest guys in the business. So hopefully, he'll stay in the business to give us a little bit more. I feel like with him leaving, it's like the voice of reason is leaving late night. He was the the person that I turned to. You know, you had the others that give your jokes and whatever, and John did that as well. But I felt like he helped me understand what was going on. And and on the best days, he agreed with what I thought was crazy. We were together going, this is crazy, and I think that's what we'll be missing. Stewart, a stand-up comedian who last year released his first movie, the political drama Rosewater, is given few clues as to what he'll do next.